This is a piece I started in 2002 called Fashion Fashion. And it started off as um, a really small format zine. Um, it's uh, different from a lot of my other projects which um, are very conceptual or theoretical based and are always serious in subject matter and form. And I just felt this like need to release. I thought, you know what, I want to do something that's totally fun, intuitive, that I don't quite think all the way through to the end. Because sometimes that really holds you back as an artist if you're just kind of thinking through to the very end, which, you know, I don't really do that well all the time. While enjoying certain aspects of fashion and fashion magazines, I could not stand that it was total luxury brand placing, you know, product placing, and, you know, you weren't, weren't really, you know, the mot motivation behind a lot of that was pure advertising. So it, I started this zine, which was completely, had no credits, no clothing credits, no designer clothing, and just like uh, wanted to put together wild things, bizarre outfits, some things that I felt like were actually, um, were fashionable, but maybe pushing a certain edge. So this is actually my sister's friend, Amy, and this is, um, this is one where I got them to perform or to model. <laughs> and that was really fun. I usually don't work with other people. It's mostly me. I mean, there's no rules to this project, which really makes it fun. Like, there's no imperative to make a new issue. That's my big sister right there and there. And, um, you know, sometimes I set up little parameters. Like this one I shot in my hometown in Fort Worth, Texas. And I said, okay, I'm going to the thrift store and then we're gonna shoot an issue of Fashion Fashion with my sister and her friends. So I was really limited to all the pieces that I found at that thrift store that day. This is a collaboration between um, myself and Wynne Greenwood, formerly of Tracy and the Plastics. And um, it's called New Report. And in it, we uh, perform as feminist news anchors and journalists from the, our fictional station, WKRH. I am the reporter Henry Arigarai, and Wynne is the reporter Henry Steinacker Hill. And in the tape that's installed here, we basically uh, investigate a fictionalized news, but a sort of per with a personal feminist angle. So to sort of bring the non-news to the surface and kind of talk about the different issues that are at stake. It's not a project where we are really looking for fact-based information but instead to kind of create stories to shift the focus and also to really critique the media. There's a tongue-in-cheek um, attitude that comes across when you watch the tape, but it's made with total sincerity and a total commitment to feminism. And so um, just somehow within the performance and then in the deadpan, our tapes become really funny. And that's, that, I think that's a really nice spot to find, and, and we didn't set out to find that spot. We didn't make this tape thinking, oh my God, it's gonna be so hilarious. We're sitting there, we're editing, we're very serious. We know we've collaborated on every little aspect, and then we install it, and people are just like laughing.